top of the morning, you million sixty thousand patriots. I hope you're doing good. I brought the big guy with me today. He would not uh, shut up from inside the window. He's like, Dad, you're taking me. Ranger in the morning is kind of like meeting a guy who just took pre-workout about 15 minutes before you shook his hand. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you. But I hope you're doing good. We're going to talk about some three-letter agencies today and what happens when they pop up on your doorstep. And don't think that this can only happen to your crazy conspiracy neighbor, Bob, down the street. This can happen to anybody. Now, kids, in the South, this is called a shotgun. In California, it's referred to as a 100% off coupon at the cashier's register desk. <laughs> but look, I'm not giving any kind of legal advice here. I'm not an attorney. I still have my soul, okay? Just kidding for all you attorneys out there, sort of. Uh, but I've been told that 95% of people, even patriots, do not know this information. I thought, damn, we need to really plug this kind of stuff in and get this in your brains. The Fourth Amendment protects us from unreasonable searches and seizures by the government. So know your rights. Imagine you were eight years old and you had collected one million Chuck E. Cheese tokens, okay? You held them all and you thought they're gonna be worth a lot one day. Then all of a sudden, Chuck E. Cheese shuts down all the stores in your state and all those million tokens that you had saved up are completely worthless because there ain't no Chuck E. Cheese for 300 miles and your mama won't take you. This is exactly what we do with thinking our money is gonna be worth anything in 20 years as far as the dollar goes. Make sure you've got food, ammo, silver, and gold. Allegiance Gold lets you keep it physically, which is what I like personally. So you can go to protectwithbuddy.com or call 855-45-BUDDY. You can't eat gold. I know this, but that ain't the point, is it? The point is to have some kind of net worth after all your supplies is gone, after the dollar is done, and it all crashes. Protectwithbuddy.com or call 855-45-BUDDY. Link is below. All right, y'all. So knock, knock, knock. You see them at your front door. They're standing right there. And I would advise you first off, if you answer the door at all, to walk out, shut the door behind you. The door is the almighty threshold. They're trying to get consent. Oh, hey, Mr. Brown, uh, this isn't any kind of big deal or nothing like that, but you know, it's just damn hot outside. Can we just come in and talk? Nope. They're trying to get consent. Don't let them act nice. Uh, you know, they ain't there to be your friend. You let them pass that threshold, which is the almighty, you know, the door <laughs> in this situation, you are screwed. Consent also can be verbal or nonverbal. Even if your wife just opens the door and goes like this, do y'all know that's nonverbal consent? Please talk to her about this, fellas, <laughs> because most of our women, mine included, did not know this when I had addressed it with her. Next thing, probable cause. Big, big issue. Most of the time, they're going to show up with a warrant. Now, if they show up with a warrant, ask for that affidavit in support of the warrant. How'd you get this? Where'd this come from, y'all? Take a picture of it if you can get it. Now, it differs state by state, but ask for it if you can. Uh, but we got to make this clear. Do not, under any circumstances, try to obstruct the warrant. This could be a huge crime. The safest advice I've heard is to say, officer, uh, I'm not trying to obstruct the warrant whatsoever, but I do not consent to any searches or seizures inside this home. Then your attorney can later challenge that kind of thing in a court of law. Very important, okay? Now, they can still enter your house if they have something called exigent circumstances, which means three things. Somebody's in danger inside, there is a suspect in there they need to get, or you about to flush some evidence <laughs> that uh, you're about to get rid of, and if they don't come in, they'll never get it. Remember when Waylon Jennings flushed that stash down there in the toilet in Nashville in the studio? <laughs> also, we got a note. If you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, just like my granddad always said. You know, if you're posting hardcore memes and comments and pictures online, that is your First Amendment right to do so, but they also could haunt you in court for the rest of your life if that prosecutor wants to paint you as the buffalo guy from January 6th, all right? So just keep that in mind. Don't kid yourself. This could never happen to me. This kind of thing only happens to somebody that's far left, far right, or whatever. This can happen to a moderate, y'all. If you politically stand in the way of somebody, <laughs> they're going to come after you with all the weapons that they got. Bottom line. And, you know, it's chilling as hell that we live in times knowing that some Leos out there are being weaponized to go after uh, people that, you know, politicians don't politically agree with. But this is 2023. This is where we're at. Personally, I don't advise that you have any kind of conversation with them at all if they show up. I mean, look, you dang near have to record any and all conversations with Leos on your phone at this point just to make sure that you're covered. So get that phone out and record it. Most important part is if the police or ATF were to ever show up at your door, God forbid, you don't have to talk to them whatsoever. 
you don't even have to answer the door unless they're banging on the window or the door saying we have a warrant and at that point you do uh you can say let me see it through the window and you can proceed based on the steps that we just covered okay i'm an 80s and 90s kid i was taught you know the police could do no wrong that they always tell the truth that uh, you should always trust them and that was a different time if you're still teaching your kids that in 2023, I think we've got some huge problems and your kids are going to win the legal Darwin Award, okay? I don't even feel like this agency should exist whatsoever, but here we are. Like I said, God forbid any of this stuff ever happens to any of y'all, but we're living in crazy, crazy times. Watch your back. Know your rights. Take the video points to this uh, video right here. Nail them next to your door if you need to. I hope you're watching this way in advance before anything uh, like this ever happens and not at the moment where you're trying to YouTube this video because they're standing there right now. You ain't got much time, big boy. God bless y'all. Be safe.